It is amazing. I never thought I would see, you know, something like this. When you see people that look like you, it's powerful in so many ways. So welcome to the Merced Multicultural Arts Center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To my knowledge, it's the largest one of its kind, the largest gathering of trans or non-binary identified artists. So I curated this show. Um, I came up with the concept and organized artists and helped hang and yeah, everything. And I'm just really proud of it and really happy about it. The caliber of the art is just, it still impresses me just walking around it. And I've been here so many times now, <laughs> so many late nights. Most of the exhibit is focused on beauty, representations of beauty. These people, the LGBTQ community, are the same as everyone else. They have their stories, they have their own narrative, and they can find connections that way. From coming from a place of shame and stigma, now to where they have uh, their own sense of um, pride with their identification to the point where they can um, show it to the public. I run a support group for trans and non-binary folks. It's been going great. The attendance keeps growing. There's new people almost every week. It's a group of us, um, gender fluid and tra transgender folks. We get together and talk. The flip side of that is I hear about, especially bullying in schools, quite often. It's, it's like really easy to be, not be confident um, about being trans when you feel like you're the only one around. When they see folks that look like them, when they are accepted by their teachers and families, this improves mental health outcomes across ages. It's really important. It is amazing. I never thought I would see, you know, something like this. Seeing transgender people being celebrated like this is really good feeling. It's just so beautiful. I'm so proud of all of it and all our artists.